Sunday's NFL Week 12 action is in the books. The holiday weekend is over. We're all back to work again, which is just so fun, isn't it? Let's have some fun here and hand out some awards. We start with the best job of making everyone forget about Zach Wilson. That goes to Jets quarterback Mike White. The Jets, of course, dropped Wilson, made him inactive on Sunday. Mike White jumped in. What do you do? He threw three touchdowns and led the Jets to a 31-10 win over the Bears. Jets fans, that must have been fun to watch, huh? Finally having a quarterback who can throw the ball around. Actually looked like a real NFL quarterback, which is something Zach Wilson does not look like much in his career, if at all. Mike White, congrats on your big game, on your victory. Fans were chanting your name. You're the king of New York until you mess up, and then they'll all turn on you. That's just what they do there. Next, we look at the best job of wearing the biggest hat ever after a win, and that goes to Washington running back Brian Robinson Jr. Did you see this dude's hat in the locker room after the game on Sunday? It was gigantic. It was comically big. And you know what? It was pretty damn awesome. Asked about his hat, he was like, yeah, a friend of mine owns a big hat company. If you want one, just let me know. Well, the whole internet Sunday night wanted to say, hey, who's his friend? Where can I get one of these hats? Because again, these hats are tremendous. You know what also is tremendous? Kind of. The Washington Commanders. They won again. Six of their last seven, keeping the pace in the NFC playoff race. But yeah, it's all about the hat, Brian Robinson Jr. I love your hat. I need one. Although on this big monster head, it might not look that big. It's, I have a huge head. I hate my head. And finally, we look at the best job of using Tom Brady's words after beating Tom Brady in overtime. And that goes to Browns quarterback, Jacoby Brissett. Brissett, of course, used to be former teammates with Brady. And on Sunday, he beat him in overtime in Cleveland by six points. After the game, he stole Brady's infamous lines from earlier this season saying, you know what? That was really blanking awesome. I do not want to get fired, but he said that was blanking awesome. That was blanking awesome. And you know what? It was blanking awesome, Jacoby. You're going to lose your starting job this week as Deshaun Watson comes back, which is a shame because he played well all season. But to go out on that kind of win over Tom Brady must have felt, well, pretty blanking awesome. That was really blanking awesome.